in exactly five minutes. A disaster that'll wipe out our world is striking. We need to build bunkers to survive it. Listen, natural disasters are no joke at all. Hence the reason why I'm going to take this seriously. We need the strongest blocks in Minecraft to reinforce our base to make sure that nothing is going to break through. Now, I don't want my base to be freaking massive. The bigger the base, the more flaws that could happen. So small and sturdy is what we're looking to do. I've been watching a ton of videos on YouTube about storm chasing in Minecraft, and this gave me an idea. Shark and Mogi are now preparing to defend against a storm. But that seems very silly because Storm can't really do much to you. Okay, but that's all besides the point. We need to create a centralized HQ system that we can use for our base when times get tough, okay? Now, we don't want to make this too big. The bigger you make your base, the easier you are to be caught by a storm. Like, everybody knows this. This isn't. This is rule one of the Storm Chaser's handbook. Since this dragon egg represents my life, of course, I have to be careful of it. So, of course, I'm going to make a really cool base for it so i'm just gonna go around here and kind of place obsidian in a jagged order to create a cool looking fence but of course this is only the outer part of the base so it's gonna look way cooler as well and we gotta have an entrance right here an iron door with a heavy pressure plate let's go and now we can start the house in a real case of a natural disaster some of these bunkers allow humans to survive for years and years on end i mean bro there's literally a bunker with a freaking water park in it bro come on if we're gonna be stuck in here for an extended period of time we need to make sure we can survive so step one is obviously we need some sort of farm and crop so what I'm going to do, we're going to add water right here. I'm thinking glowstone could be our artificial light because we're not going to have direct access to the sun. Let's go ahead and plant those seeds. We want to conserve how much space we got here. Let's see. We can even fence this off. Very nice. That looks good. For down here, I think this is okay. But on our second story, I think we need to reinforce this a little bit more. You know, something tells me up here is going to be penetrated and it's not going to be too good. Let's do another layer of glass right there. That looks pretty good now up here i wanted to build some sort of emergency tower that we could go to just in case just in case we had to i'm not gonna lie this is looking really juicy let's use a wall of ancient debris yo and we put our dragony right there with some tinted glass above it so no one can see it and then, of course, let's get our irregular stuff and just, you know, fill up the base, make it look nice. And last but very not least, we need to put down our dragon egg because if this thing breaks, that means we technically lost the challenge. So, um, let's make sure that doesn't happen. Hey, shark, it looks like you're, uh, trying to, trying to what? make up for something. Oh, oh, yeah, oh wait, what is this? Wait, wait a fire tornado? Oh, God, no, 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 no. Wait, I, I, I'm being pulled oh, up in the sky somewhere. No, no. get in. Oh, oh. Oh, I just watched a YouTube video about this yesterday. These are called twisty, turny, flamey, flamey. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Why? What's wrong? <laughs> what the bro? Oh, God. I'm, I'm terrified. I'm terrified. I'm terrified. No, no, no. I'm, be, I'm literally being pulled up at the moment. Oh, God, guys. Uh, I can't get down to my water pool that I had set up. I didn't know there's disasters called a fire tornado. Oh, no. Burn that. Burn that. There we go. Yes. Oh, come on. Get into my safety bank. No. Get into my safety bank. Yes. As long as I stay in this corner, nothing can go wrong. <laughs> right? Wait a second, yo! Uh, uh guys, okay. you guys need. Look uh, at this. This is yes. massive, bro. I actually read about these online. These are actually called uh, magna turbo blocks, and you don't want to touch these because if you do, they explode into a million pieces. Kevin, I'll give you three hundred skittles if you touch them. Oh. Run the skittles, my boy. <laughs> Okay, it didn't blow up. Maybe I got my facts wrong, but hey, I, I do need to point out one thing. I did make a fact. Yeah, what do, what do said, you need to point out exactly? Bigger is not always better, hey, and uh, my, my base, base looks... seems in a lot better condition. Oh, yeah, is that so? Wait, guys, I hear a siren. Wait, I, I thought we would have time to rebuild. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh -oh. oh, no, oh, no. Wait, 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 we don't have time? Oh, no, <laughs> no, 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 A tsunami, oh, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Help, help. Oh, okay. I took a lot of damage there, guys, but I think I'm okay. But is my tower okay? Oh, my tower is um questionable. That's that's the word we're using right now. It's questionably okay. We went from a fire tornado to a freaking tsunami. Now, who am I kidding? If you guys were in a Minecraft natural disaster, what kind of base would you build? And the best comment down below, I'm gonna pin you. Now, What's gentlemen, up? it seems like our bases have gone through a little bit of destruction. So I'm gonna give us all five minutes to go ahead and rebuild a little bit. Oh. And the next natural disaster is so dangerous. Um we're probably not going to survive. 
Yeah, speak for yourself. So you have five minutes. Good luck. What's better than a natural disaster base above ground? Oh, yes, of course. It happens to be one underground. And well, I plan on building a base that is a perfect bunker somewhere super far down in the ground where, I mean, virtually no disaster can hit me unless it was some sort of, a, I don't know, a, a, a sinkhole or something. All right, well, this is an absolute disaster because everything's underwater. So let's go ahead and drain this. Well, actually, putting my base underwater isn't that bad of an idea. Let's go ahead and remove all the water. I'm going to go to the middle of my base and I'm going to do a sphere of glass around my whole base. Hopefully, that'll add protection. We had an idea, and the idea was pretty grandiose, okay? We're gonna search sponge, okay? We don't need a wet sponge. We need a regular sponge. Now, the reason we need a regular sponge is I'm not a fan of water, guys. Look at this. Oh, oh, what, what happened to the water? Oh, what happened to the water? The whole thing is we're gonna be covering the entire base in sponges because sponges make water go away. And I'm not gonna lie, in this time in need, I, I, I think that's something a very, very, very sustainable quality. What the? Oh, that's just Mogi. Okay, yeah. Wait a second. Mogi's covering his base in water? What? Okay, that's kind of 200 IQ. I mean, I could do the same. Now, don't mind if I do. I'm just gonna, you know, just place some water down. Just, uh, I'm inspired by Mogi's creation, as you can tell. Let's just say I'm confident nothing is touching my base. Kevin, I have one oh. genuine concern for you. What's up with all these trees? Oh, uh, let me tell you, my friend. Uh, so natural disasters stem from Mother Nature, do they not? Uh, yes. Yeah. So instead of using materials from Mother Nature, I decided to expand on Mother Nature's happiness and plant a hundred million well, trees. You think this is gonna stop a, a, a natural disaster from like, uh, you know, destroying your entire base? Shark, dude, fly up. What do you see? I see a man-made glass dome. I see a sponge cake with power. trees on it is what I see. Exactly. <laughs> I see love and affection. Okay. Yep. All right. You know what? Uh-oh. I hear the siren. Everybody get in their bases. Go! Okay. You know what? Forget it. I'm going right down to my bunker. This is an earthquake, guys, which means it's about to get really, really bad really, really fast. No, no, no. I'm being pulled up the ladder, guys. I'm being pulled up the ladder. I'm not. My hands are off the keyboard. Okay. There we go. If everybody leaves a like on this video, I will actually survive this round. Okay, please. I, I'm not even touching the keyboard. I can't move at all right now, bro. Uh-oh. What was that noise? What was that noise? Oh, the, wait, the ground around you becomes unstable. Oh, my dragon egg. Hey, hey, buddy. How you doing? Stay right there. Don't move. Where are my trees? Is that a sinkhole? Uh-oh. What, what is? Uh, nothing's happening to me. Nothing's happening to me either, but there was a sinkhole right in the middle of all the bases. Whoa. Oh, my gosh. That is deep. There's no way the guys are surviving this right now. There's no flipping way, bro. Oh my gosh, and this isn't even the worst disaster which the next round is gonna have. This is gonna be so bad. Hello? Hello? Oh, hey, I think we're safe. That was not as bad as I thought. Hey, we're actually doing pretty good so oh. far. Oh my yeah. gosh, you know. Yeah. Guys, you're welcome. Mother Nature over here. Okay, okay. Uh, you know what? I think it's time we get a really big disaster to come. I'm up in my tower now, boys. I can see your bases. Wait, Shark, uh, where did your, where'd your protective layer of water go? Wait, oh my gosh, my water. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Falling <laughs> stars? Look up, look up, well, look I can't, up. I can't, I can't exactly I look up. Wait, wait, what's that noise? Um, what's that noise? I'm going downstairs. Oh what's yeah, you know what? Maybe I should too. Maybe I should too. Uh oh. All I can hear <laughs> oh is something falling. <laughs> oh! oh my gosh. Oh my what? gosh. What? I died. Oh my gosh. What? Wait, no, what? Bro. Dude, look at those things. Oh my gosh, bro. Look at this. Are these falling stars? Yeah, they are. Wait, they're falling from another planet. They Wait. literally landed on our bases, bro. What? My base is not even existent anymore. Yeah, Kev, what happened to Mother Nature saving your base? Look, Mogi <laughs> pissed her off. Look, look at it. Oh, his base is also gone. <laughs> All of our bases are gone. Right. No, 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 no. Who was littering? Somebody littered today. Somebody. Shark, did you litter? I, I didn't. I didn't litter, guys. Um. Did you throw your coffee cup out your window? Um. No, I, I did not. My coffee cup is is actually right here. Funny you say that. Um. Yeah. I you know, know what I need to do for the final round. Yeah. What? Need to repent with Mother Nature and send her my deepest and most gracious apologies, and I'm gonna win. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the final round. We have five minutes the rebuild now listen as you guys can tell bedrock was completely untouched in my base so i think it's only fair 
that we secretly make our base entirely out of bedrock. Now, from the outside, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it look like it's made out of dirt so the guys don't actually realize that I have a freaking base made out of bedrock. Why are we building up? We're gonna build up until we hit, like, the top. I want to be able to see Shark and Mogi's base. Little beans. They're going to be little ants. They won't even know what to do with a real storm hunter like myself. I can speak to Mother Nature. Let's just put a bunch of blast shields above our base. Because it's pretty much still intact. I can just put these blast shields here to catch anything trying to blow me up from above. And that will be pretty good. Okay. Okay, all I need to do now is put down some doors. One right here. There we go. Looks juicy, baby. Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. Our base is freaking tiny, but that's okay. Kevin, what kind of tower is that? Dude, wait, what is that? Dude, you're in a freaking dirt shack. Bro. Yeah, it's, it's a dirt shack. It's beautiful because uh, dirt is, as you would say, actually, dirt is Mother Nature's beautiful creation. So now. You're learning. Wow. You're learning. Okay, never mind. I take that back. All right, gentlemen. The biggest and scariest <laughs> storm is on the way. Best of luck oh. to the best storm prepper. Everybody oh. in survival mode. Let's get it. Da, 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 da. Which room should I watch this uh, storm from? You know what? Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to room D. My screen is flashing. Uh oh, a supernova event is starting right now, guys. And as you know, a supernova is the most dangerous thing ever. But jokes on the guys. I will survive if I just run, run for my life. Uh oh, I can see it. Oh, maybe not. No! <laughs> What the heck? Go click right there to go watch the news video. I promise you'll love it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.